I'm Deborah Huntley. I'm a preservation archaeologist and I'm mainly involved in, in research here at the Center for Desert Archaeology. I was trained as a Southwest archaeologist and spent early part of my career working in um, the Zuni area of New Mexico and around Santa Fe, New Mexico. And most recently I've been working in the Upper Gila area, specifically on the Mule Creek sites. We were initially drawn to this area because of reports of a large uh, late Salado site. So this would be a site occupied in the 1300s and 1400s. We spent a couple of seasons investigating this site and at the same time began to realize there were other sites in, in the same area that had perhaps different occupational histories and might have had different cultural affiliations. So Mule Creek fits in in our larger research agenda of trying to understand migration of Cayenta folks from northern Arizona into the southern southwest and spreading into New Mexico, and then understanding how Salado sites coalesced, how many groups of people came together in large sites and created what we call the Salado identity. There are several sites in the Mule Creek area that, that are quite interesting. I would say the Three Up site is fascinating because it's such a large site. It appears to have been occupied for a very long period of time. And we have very clear evidence there of people migrating in from the Cayenta area in northern Arizona. And it's not quite clear yet how those folks interacted with their neighbors at, for example, the, the Fornholt site. So I would say that's my main research interest in the Mule Creek area. We've excavated a total of nine units there, and we feel like we've got a really good sample of the trash from the Three Up site. We're digging primarily in trash midden, so we're recovering all kinds of broken pottery sherds, flake stone manufacturing debris, ground stone. My specialty is pottery, so I've been, um, along with Catherine Dungan, have been looking at all the pottery from the Three Up site, trying to understand the different time periods we have represented, the different types and wares that we have re represented from different areas, and also looking to see if the pottery that we're finding there is made locally. And it, currently, it seems like a, quite a lot of it was. We've also been getting some very interesting information on obsidian use through time. And it seems pretty clear that obsidian use increased, at least starting with the Cayenta migrants in the 1200s and then picked up even more in the 1300s where we have the latest Salado occupation at the site. So far, we've got pretty good evidence that at least some of the Maverick Mountain series pottery that we associate with Cayenta immigrants from Northern Arizona and quite a bit of the Salado polychrome pottery was being made on site. Cibola whiteware types and white mountain redware types that were made uh, further to the north and east. We're just starting to synthesize all this data and um, try to understand what it all means in, the, in terms of the bigger picture. But we do have some clear evidence for local production of pottery and extensive exchange of pottery as well. Something that was personally quite surprising to me was um, working over in Locust Sea at the Three Up site um, and trying to work in trash middens and not knowing exactly where the trash middens were, and we accidentally came down on a uh, adobe plastered floor within an adobe room and found a perforated plate on the floor of that room, and that was a pretty interesting find for for all of us. A perforated plate is a certain type of pottery that's basically like sort of platter shaped and it's got holes all around the, um, the outside edge of it that look like they were punched through the clay when it was wet. There's been a lot that's been surprising and unexpected and that's um, part of the fun of doing this. Just the existence of the Fornhold site where it is so close to the Three Up site and yet the two sites being so completely different. We didn't expect to see this Tularosa phase occupation in um, Mule Creek, basically a site with, with masonry um, architecture and more northern uh, pottery types um, and no evidence of Cayenta immigration or um, Salado occupation. The Farnhold site, we have a pretty good sense of how it was laid out based on our work from last summer where we were able to chase all of the walls on the surface of the site. We have a pretty good idea of how the site was laid out in two separate room blocks. We have sort of an enigmatic kiva or plaza feature in one of the room blocks that we need to better understand what that is. We also have some evidence that the smaller room block to the north might have been burned, and it would be nice to know some more information about that, whether it looks like a catastrophic burning of the Pueblo or just some isolated burning of some of the room walls. And we really need to pin down the, the site's occupation history 
trying to get a good stratigraphic sample from the test middens so that we can use cross-dating on the pottery types to make sure we understand when the site was occupied. Um, those will be some of the key questions that we want to address this summer.